So, like I said, I'm going to talk about two new words. I'm going to talk about vectors and scalars. Or as I like to jokingly call it, scalar. Um, two very important words. Uh, they don't really belong in kinematics. I mean, they do because kinematics is talking about that a lot. But we think of more of vectors and scalars mathematically. Um, we'll see vectors and scalars through the entire course of the year. This value will be a scalar, this value will be a vector. Um, they do have specific definitions, and I'm going to start about the definition of a scalar first. A scalar is something that only has a magnitude. Um, what does that mean? Um, take temperature, for example. A temperature is a perfect example of a scalar. When we look at the the value of a temperature, we're looking at a strictly a number. So 70 degrees Celsius, 100 degrees Celsius. It doesn't have a direction associated. It's just a value. Okay, So that's a scalar. When we refer to a scalar, we're referring to something that just has a, numer a numerical value to it. It has a magnitude is how we refer to it. And whenever I say the magnitude, I always have to use my, my hands. Magnitude. Okay. On the flip side, vectors. Vectors are something that not only has a magnitude, a size, but it also has a direction. Um, my perfect example of a vector is force. Force is probably the, the, the vector to talk about. Um, if you think about it, force has a magnitude. You can push hard, you can push tough. You can, you can punch somebody with a lot of force, or you can punch somebody with very little force. Okay. It has a size associated to it. It turns out that size was expressed in Newtons. But um, a vector, so it has a size, but it also has a direction. I'm going to punch you, boom. My fist is, well, look at this, 3D, rah, coming right at you. It's going in that direction. Okay, Or I can punch the board, and it's going in that direction. The force has a direction associated to it, where temperature doesn't. I'm not going to say, wow, I'm going to apply 30 newtons in this direction, or 30, 30 kelvin in this direction. I'm just simply going to apply 30 kelvin. Okay, That's the difference between the two. The scalars have the magnitude. The vectors have the magnitude and direction. Okay? So, um, I forgot to put position up there. Where's my position sheet? Oh, there it is. One second. Okay, so using my three definitions, I've got distance, how far an object travels. I've got displacement, how far an object, how far and in what direction an object is from its starting position. And then I have position and location with respect to the origin. What I want you guys to do really quick is I want you guys to, asso to associate a vector or a scalar to one of those. So if you're talking about distance, is that a scalar or a vector? We're talking about displacement. Is that a scalar or a vector? Position, scalar or vector. Okay. So your assignment really quick is to give me whether this is a scalar or a vector for all of them. Okay. Oh, I should have told you to pause that. So pause the video. Give me the scalar or vector, and then I'll be right back. So um, tell me, distance. Scalar or vector? Does it have a magnitude only? Or does it have a magnitude and a direction? Well, I hope you can realize that distance, when we talked about the problem, boom, 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 goes all over the place. We just simply measure that path and we got the distance. It doesn't tell me how far and what direction. It doesn't tell me anything like that. It just gives me a number. So when we talk about distance, we're talking about a scalar. Okay. How about displacement? Does displacement have a magnitude and a direction associated to it? Rereading it, pff, I first right there. How far and in what direction? Right there, it should tell you that it's a vector. It has a magnitude, how far and in what direction. So that's a vector. Now, last one. Position. Now, is position a vector or a scalar? If you remember the diagram that I was drawing before when I was talking about position, there's a couple of things that I tried to spell out. Here's my coordinate system. Here's my person. 
I was trying to spell out that I got so much in the X direction, so much in the Y direction. Word. So much in the X direction. I'm sounding like a Dalek from Doctor Who. Um, how big, so much, in the X direction? Vector or scalar? Vector. Okay. So if I were to tell you to compare and contrast distance to position or distance to sub displacement, the first thing you should be able to point out to me is that distance is only a magnitude. It doesn't tell me direction. Or dis displacement gives me a magnitude and it also gives me a direction. Okay? Same thing with position. It gives me a direction and it gives me a magnitude. Where distance is only magnitude only. Okay? Cool? That is a vector and a scalar. It's a really important that you understand the difference between the two because we will be talking about lots and lots of vectors and lots and lots of scalars. And it's important to know the difference. Okay? Cool?